seriously? What were you supposed to say? We rehearsed this. <laughs> Sorry about her. Today, ninth graders, balancing equations. So, hopefully you're struggling a little bit because I think all children probably struggle a little bit while they're working on this. Just like this one right here. Okay? So, back from the video, I'm not wearing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, you need to leave. You're in the way. Okay, just roll you right off. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Go color. So, from the video yesterday, first thing we need to do is we've got to draw a line separating our reactants from our products. So, as you can see, this is number two, three, and five directly off of your, hey, pipe down in the peanut gallery right off your notes. Okay, so just go ahead and draw a line going down. Now what you need to do is go ahead and determine how many atoms of each element you have on both sides. So I'll do one with you, then I will pause the video, do the rest, and then we'll come back, see how our answers compare. So for this first one, I'm going to put oxygen first, just because you want to balance carbons, hydrogens, and then oxygens. So I'm going to go O first. So I'm just basically going to work my way backwards. A, G, M, G. And I'll throw CL over here because I wrote these a little bit tight. So what you're going to have on one side of the equation obviously is going to be the same as the other because you can't create or destroy elements. So when you look over here, you have three oxygens. We have one nitrogen. We've got one silver, two chlorine, one magnesium. Over here we have 2 times 3 is 6 oxygen, we're going to have 2 nitrogen, we're going to have 1 magnesium, 1 silver, and 1 chlorine. So go ahead and break down number 3 and 5, and then we'll come back together as a class and look at balancing these. Daddy, can we 